Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we will be solving one very, very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by multiplying our RHS radicand by 3 in the numerator and in the denominator. So 9 times 3 will give us 27. I can write equation cube root of 2x minus 1 over 27 plus cube root of 4x minus 5 over 27 equal to cube root of 3 times 8 times x minus 1 over 27. Now we will multiply our equation with cube root 27. So we can cancel our denominator from both sides. So I can write cube root of 2x minus 1 plus cube root of 4x minus 5 equal to cube root of 24 times x minus 1. Now we can factor 24 as 4 times 6. So we can write cube root of 2x minus 1 plus cube root of 4x minus 5 equal to cube root of 4 times 6x minus 1. Now I will use substitutions. Let's consider first radicand as a cube and second radicand as b cube. Now I will find a cube plus b cube. This will be equal to 2x minus 1 plus 4x minus 5. So I can write 2x plus 4x is 6x minus 1 minus 5 minus 6. If I will take 6 common, we will get x minus 1. And here we have 6 times x minus 1 available. So we can write a cube plus b cube. So our equation will become cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Let me write cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now cube root and cube will be over in LHS. So I can write a plus b equal to I will write here cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3 and this side also power 3. So we can cancel cube root with cube in RHS. In LHS we will write a plus b whole cube. And RHS will become 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will apply a plus b whole cube identity. So we can write a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b times a plus b equal to 4 a cube plus 4 b cube. Now I will take all the terms to RHS. So 4a cube minus a cube will give us 3a cube. 4b cube minus b cube plus 3b cube. And then we will have minus 3ab a plus b equal to 0. Now equation is divisible by 3. So we can write a cube plus b cube minus a b a plus b equal to 0. 
Now we can apply a q plus b q identity here. So I can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus a b. Then minus a b times a plus b equal to 0. Now we have a plus b common out. So I can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus a b and then minus a b equal to 0. Or we can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus twice a b which is again one identity. So here we can write a minus b whole square a plus b equal to 0. So from here we can conclude either a plus b will be 0 or a minus b equal to 0. So I can write a equal to minus b from our first equation and from our second equation a equal to b. Let me write here a equal to minus b a equal to b. So I can consider cubing both sides. I can write a cube will be equal to minus times b cube. Here also a cube equal to b cube. Now if I will write our a cube and b cube, then a cube was 2x minus 1. So I will write 2x minus 1 equal to minus times b cube was 4x minus 5. Here I will be writing 2x minus 1 equal to 4x minus 5. Let me write the value of a. a was 2x minus 1. a cube was. And b cube was 4x minus 5. Let's solve. So I will write 2x minus 1 equal to minus 4x plus 5. Or I can take this term to the LHS and minus 1 to the RHS. So 6x will become 1 plus 5, 6. So x will come out 1 once we will divide both sides by 6. Similarly, 2x I will take to the RHS and minus 5 to the LHS. So I can write here 5 minus 1. So 4 as LHS. And RHS will be 4x minus 2x, so 2x. Divide both sides by 2. We will get the second solution x is equal to 2. Now we have two real solutions for our radical equation. Now we will cross examine whether they are true or not. So let me write here x equal to 1, x equal to 2. Check. I will write x equal to 1. Equation is written here. So let's begin with LHS. So I can write cube root of 2 times 1 minus 1. So 2 minus 1, I can directly write 1 over 27 plus cube root of 4 minus 5. So minus 1 over 27 equal to, if I will write RHS also, then cube root of 8 minus 8 over 27. So RHS is coming out 0. LHS is 1 over cube root 27. So I can write 9 plus minus 1 over cube root 27. So 9. 1 over 9 minus 1 over 9. We will cancel. 0 equal to 0. Hence our solution 1 is verified. Now we will check x equal to 2. 
so i can write cube root of 2 times 2 4 minus 1 so 3 over 27 plus cube root of 8 minus 5 again 3 over 27 so i can write here cube root of 3 over cube root of 27 so this will be 3 plus cube root of 3 over 3 so lhs will become 2 cube root 3 over 3 this was our lhs let's check rhs rhs is cube root of 8x minus 8 so 16 minus 8 is 8 over 9 now i will multiply here with 3 so i will multiply here with 3 also so i can write cube root of 24 over cube root of 27 now we can write here cube root of 24 as cube root of 8 times cube root of 3 over cube root 27 is 3 cube root 8 is 2 so i can write 2 over 3 cube root of 3 which is matching with our lhs so our solution x equal to 2 is also true and verified i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care of yourself